All right, what's up, everybody? I got a project, the uh, Selma Mansion Rebirth. Um, I did all the balusters, and now I have... Um, they called me back, and I have some more things they want me to do. Uh, there's long stretches in the balcony, and um, it's just not, not as strong as it used to probably be originally, if it ever was super strong. So they want to mimic the first uh, balcony has two posts that support the long length so we're gonna mimic that on the second third and fourth so I need six posts to match the other one um, I'm done the first part here I did five of them I've got one more to do they're poplar uh, I've got this one laid out and chucked up um, my lathe can only get about 52 inches if I stretch it uh, being that these posts are close to 60 uh, we did them in two parts I made an inch and three-quarter pin that's about five and a half inches long down at the end and then the other blocks I have to turn a small detail on the bottom drill uh, matching inch and three-quarter hole in that um, glue them together and they'll be as good as one um, and then off to paint and installation so that's what we're doing today I'll show you the one I got chucked up and we'll start okay so this is what we got here um, it's poplar it's uh, laid out I've got the first initial mark which is this shoulder here for the top block and then some other layouts laid out and then you come down here and I've got the other mark for the pin and that's an inch and three quarter pin and the other block will have a hole an inch and three quarters and it'll marry up to that that cut there and you won't even be able to tell and it'll be as, as strong as a solid piece so that's what we got going on we're gonna start turning we're gonna start down at this end all right here we go <laughs> he pretty much I was turning and he pretty much walked right across crawled right across my feet um, 
I'm not. I, I don't mind snakes at all. Uh, I'd rather that be a snake than a spider. Let's see if we can get them. I don't know where we can get them. We, uh, I don't mind them. So um, let's see if we can just shoo them off over to the garden area over there. Let's see what happens. Yep. Yep. You got it. There you go. That's where I want you to go. That's it. Keep on going. Garter snake. Other way, other way, other way, other way. Hey, I said other way. Hey, not back in the garage. Not back in the garage. There you go. Come on. Come on. Other way. All right, this is what it looks like. I had this defect come out at me. Um, this is obviously the second part. When I milled it all up, I did not see that. As you can see, the the wood is here, and there was no defect on the outside when I was turning, and then it just appeared. So that can happen sometimes, but it's actually all solid, and um, it's good to go. So that's not bad. Got the end turned, the detail there, come down, the detail at the bottom to the inch and three quarter pin. All right, so what will happen, hold on, give myself a second here. This is one of the waste blocks, so what it'll end up looking like, obviously you can't really see that well, but that'll have a hole drilled in it and then get married in like that. So that pin will be all inside of there and glued and um, it won't go anywhere. All right, that's what we got. Uh, we're gonna probably show you the second part we're drilling the hole and all that good stuff stay tuned all right what i'm doing here is um using my japanese pull saw and laying out for the bottom part of the newel so i'll show a picture here of what they look like um so i laid everything out this little triangle's got to come out to form a one two three four five six one, two, three, four, what would be eight? Octagon. <clears throat> Duh, obviously. So just hold my finger there, try to use the whole saw, give it a good pull, and then try to use the whole pulling action of the saw. And go right slowly to your line. Next. I'm not sure if I want to take a chisel and, and whack them off this way or use the saw and go this way. I'm not sure yet, we'll find out in a second, won't we? Brand new sharp blade on the Japanese pull saw is awesome. Love these things. Now I'm going to maybe take a chisel, part it off with my inch and a half chisel. detail down here um, actually maybe the fourth step I had to cut all these into octagons and then this detail here so what it starts out I would be a 3 8 3 8 1 8 and 3 8 in this little section and uh, this will turn into that all right let's keep going
Okay, um, I'm going to burn all my, I'm going to burn my initials, my mark into the bottom of the post and then put the, put the cap on and she'll be done. So that's what I've got going right now. And then here in a second you'll see them all finished up. Let's put it right here. There we go. That's my initials in, in one one swoop there, a G and a J together. Uh, so they'll all have that mark. They'll be covered up. You won't ever see it unless that get this cap gets taken off. But um that probably, hopefully, will never happen again. All right, sneak peek of what the bottom looks like. Um, the null posts are done. Uh, la 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 la. I'm then next working on the door stop, so I might do a video of that also. So, um, I have two of them uh, with longer blocks for the third floor balcony. It's longer for some reason up there and then four of them with shorter blocks for the fourth and second floor balcony. Um, these are made to support the long runs of the uh, balcony, they're, they're wobbly. Um, so that, that will help support these. <clears throat> they are a poplar. Uh, let's see, this detail is pretty fun. I think I showed you, showed you those steps. I've never done anything like that. It turned out pretty well here. Pretty cool little design. And then I have the cap. The drop cap that I turned and put on there. These are all paint grade things here. Um, it's made from poplar and it comes up the block to a bead, shoulder, cope, cove, shoulder, and a bead. Tapers on back to the top to a shoulder, a bead, another shoulder, a bead, and then the top block. The top block will have a detail trim piece around it. Um, we went with this look to a pin top. The originals were square top and it just sat on the underneath of the, the rail sat on top of it and the rail and the corners were big um, made squares to fit over the block. But now we have to fit it to the rail to keep that look. We kept it big but we made it to a pin top. So hopefully that works out. It should. Alright, that's, that's it. I don't want to make this too long. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there. Um, these will get delivered shortly, but they probably already have if you're now seeing this. And they're probably in, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again. Next is the uh, door stop, so I'll possibly make a video of that, so keep an eye out for that. Alright, thanks.